hello, hello. We are on Knowledge 7, Lesson 8, Dinosaurs. Our first vocabulary word is excavating. Say excavating. Excavating means digging up. The next word is extinct. Say extinct. Extinct means no longer living or existing. And the last word is meteor. Say meteor. Meteor are pieces of rocks from space that usually burn up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is a skeleton of a Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex as some people call it. It was one of the largest and most fearsome predators ever to walk the Earth. We can tell by its teeth that the T-Rex was a meat eater. We also know that it was over 40 feet long and up to 20 feet tall. Judging by the size of its bones, it weighed about seven tons or more than two average size cars combined. This painting shows a T-Rex facing off against a, a triceratops, a dinosaur with long horns and a shield-like plate on its head. Keep in mind when you look at artwork like this that nobody today really knows what dinosaurs looked like. We only have seen their bones. Artists use information supplied by scientists today to try to make good guesses about what dinosaurs looked like when they were alive. Scientists do all this based on dinosaur bones. Many people think of dinosaurs as giant reptiles, and in fact, the word dinosaur means terrifying lizard. However, many paleontologists now believe that dinosaurs are more closely related to birds than they are to lizards. Whatever the case may be, there are no dinosaurs on Earth anymore. They have all been extinct, dead and gone for many, many years. Now there are just fossilized bones of dinosaurs buried in the Earth's crust. Here is another favorite, the Stegosaurus. Like the Triceratops, the Stegosaurus was an herbivore or plant eater, but it had some pretty good ways of defending itself against meat eaters. Stegosauruses had sharp back plates which would have made it difficult for someone to bite. But just in case anyone tried, the Stegosaurus also had a spiky tail that could really do some damage. How do we find and learn about these incredible animals? Some scientists believe that dinosaurs ruled the earth for more than 100 million years, and their fossilized bones can be found in many parts of the world, including the United States. Dinosaur fossils are hard to find, and excavating or digging them up is not as easy as you might think. Once paleontologists find an area that is likely to have dinosaur bones, we move in with our tools and begin careful excavation. Paleontologists must use sharp little knives and small brushes to gradually scrape away sedimentary rocks that surround the fossils. It will take the paleontologist days and maybe even weeks to excavate one bone. It's slow work, but to me, there is nothing more exciting in the world than carefully uncovering a bone that may have been buried in rock for a hundred million years. Here, a paleontologist is excavating a large collection of bones from the sandstone cliffs of Dinosaur National Monument, an area located in the states of Colorado and Utah, where we have uncovered hundreds and thousands of dinosaur bones. Can you see all the bones in this picture? That was one big dinosaur. But what did it really look like? It's hard to tell because over time, the bones have moved around and become broken. As a paleontologist, I sometimes feel like I spend half my life putting puzzle pieces together. Often, we only find a few bones. The rest of the skeleton was long since destroyed or perhaps even dragged away by a predator many, many years ago. Other times, lots of different dinosaur bones can be mixed in together. We paleontologists have to use our detective skills to figure out which bones belong to which type of dinosaur. In fact, these bones belong to a mighty Camarasaurus. I knew as soon as I saw its head, this plant eater was 60 feet long and weighed about 20 tons. Here is one artist's idea of what a Camarasaurus looks like. It could use its long tail to fend off predators. Good thing you don't have to worry about these things anymore. Not all dinosaurs were huge. In fact, some were really small. Take the Compsinothorus. This little creature stood just two feet tall and scurried around on two bird-like legs. 
This creature was a meat eater that fed on little lizards. We know that because paleontologists found parts of fossilized lizard in their stomach cavities. What happened to the dinosaurs? You can't go and see a live T-Rex today at the zoo because dinosaurs are extinct. Some scientists believe dinosaurs all died about 65 million years ago. According to fossil records, the extinction of the dinosaurs was quite sudden. Why? That's something paleontologists have been trying to answer ever since the first dinosaur bones were discovered and identified nearly 200 years ago. For years, many scientists believed that extraordinary geological events such as supervolcanoes must have had something to do with it. These days, however, many scientists believe that the dinosaur, ex the dinosaur extinction was caused by a giant meteorite from outer space. There are billions of meteors or burning chunks of debris in outer space. Some meteors are quite large, but most are tiny, between the size of a sand grain and a baseball. Meteors are whizzing around all over in outer space. Occasionally, a meteor crashes toward Earth. When this happens, the meteor hits the atmosphere at an incredible speed and usually burns up as it enters the uppermost part of Earth's atmosphere. Occasionally, bits and pieces of meteors survive their trip through the atmosphere and actually fall to Earth. This is rare, but it does happen from time to time, and it is possible to find pieces of them on the ground. When part of a meteor survives the trip through the atmosphere and lands on Earth, the meteor becomes a meteorite or space rock that has landed on Earth. Now, let's go back to dinosaur extinction. Some scientists think that the dinosaur, dinosaur extinction was caused by a giant meteorite from outer space. When the meteorite struck the Earth, it sent massive plumes or clouds of debris up into the atmosphere. This debris would have blocked out the light and energy of the sun, causing much of the Earth's plant life to die and severely lowering the temperature. Most creatures at the time would have been unable to adapt and they would have died out before the skies had a chance to clear. Whether this is true or not remains to be seen, though geologists have discovered at least one very large crater that was caused by a meteorite impact about the same time the dinosaurs came, became extinct. Whatever the case, we know that dinosaurs became extinct, making way for new kinds of life on Earth. I, for one, will continue to study the Earth's fossil record, and I am sure we will find the answer someday, because the clues about the history of the Earth are all there in the rocks. Ask my friend Jerry the geologist and he will tell you the same thing. That is the end of today's read aloud. You may click on the Google form and answer the questions about it.